I was contacted by someone who asked me if I had a complete uh, parts list uh, for putting together one of these shallow wells. Uh, it's something I'd never thought of before. I thought I had covered it in the previous videos, uh, but I guess things weren't detailed enough. So I thought that was a pretty good question, and I can put something together to show uh, everything that you'll need to complete one of these wells. It's certainly not the only way to do it, but you could take this list and go purchase everything and you will have a functioning well when you're finished. Obviously you're going to need a pitcher pump and these will have a water inlet on the bottom that is a one and one quarter inch thread size. The next thing that you may want to consider, even though it's not necessary, something called a closet flange. It makes mounting the pump to the top of your well casing pipe very easy, um, and it also helps keep things clean. Um, basically, you would just set this inside your, your four inch pipe, um, drill a hole out of the middle of the board, screw that to the top of this flange, then mount your pump to the board that you have fastened to this. Um, I find these to make it a pretty trouble-free uh, and easy experience. You'll need a one and one quarter inch threaded adapter. This will screw into the bottom of your pitcher pump and in turn it will connect to the pipe bringing water to your pump from the bottom of the well. You'll want to be sure to use Teflon tape on the threads when attaching this to your pump. And PVC glue to connect it to your water pipe. And of course you're going to need one and one quarter inch PVC pipe. Uh, this is what's going to be pulling the water from the bottom of the well, uh, bringing it to your uh, pump. The, the length of this pipe is going to be determined by how deep your well is, and uh, it should be at least a foot shorter than the depth of your well. You do not want this pipe sitting on the bottom because it would just be sitting in sediment and it will be uh, clogging things up. And of course you need a casing pipe. Here we're going to use a four inch PVC casing pipe. And this is what uh, is gonna go down into the hole that you dug. It is gonna hold the water until you need it. It also allows the water to flow into it. This depth of uh, this pipe will be determined by how deep you have dug. And even though this isn't something that you purchase, you have to remember that you have to cut slots into the bottom of this four inch PVC pipe. Uh, they need to be about a foot from the bottom of your well and need to extend all the way up to where the water level is. This is how water gets into your pipe and gives you the available water. And of course, we're gonna need another one of those one and one quarter inch threaded adapters. This will connect to the bottom of your water pipe and will connect to the foot valve. And don't forget you'll need to use your PVC glue to connect this adapter to the pipe. And you'll need Teflon tape on the threads to connect it to your foot valve. And to help make sure your pump stays primed and ready to go all the time, you're going to need a one and one quarter inch foot valve. Uh, this connects to the bottom of the water pipe and it's going to allow the water to come into the pipe but will not let any run out. And another one of those things you may want to consider but isn't necessary is a four inch PVC cap for your case pipe. Um, this will seal the bottom of your casing pipe and it helps keep the well clean 
Um, think of it this way. You can take a stick and go in and stir around in the bottom of a swimming pool, and there's not a lot going to go on. But you can take that same stick and go into a pond and get near the bottom and stir it around, and a bunch of debris is going to come up. It's the same type concept. You're also going to need pea gravel. This will go down around the casing pipe of your well, and the amount of pea gravel that you'll need will be determined by how deep your well is. Um, it will be put in and will need to come up to above the notches that you cut in the pipe to allow the water in. Um, the main thing is don't put too little in. It's better to have too much than too little. Um, this lets the water uh, filter through and get into your pipe more easily. And you'll need some concrete or quickcrete to cap the top of your well. Uh, this prevents groundwater contamination and keeps uh, stuff from finding a way to easily get into your well by just running away from it. And finally, some things you're going to need just to do the work of uh, the well itself. Obviously, you're going to need an auger to dig the hole, and you're going to need a shovel to uh, move uh, pea gravel and dirt out of the way. You'll need a saw, a hacksaw, or a reciprocating saw to cut all the notches in the pipe, and I would suggest a reciprocating saw because it is a lot of cutting, and it takes a while. Um, you'll need a long tape measure. Should so you'll be able to measure the depth of your well, a string to drop down in the well for a marker of the depth, and uh, screws to match your pump to uh, the, the wood should you choose to go that way, and a wrench to help you tighten the uh, pump and the uh, foot valve on to the, uh, the mounts. I hope this helps, and good luck with your digging.